Today's DVD spot, we're having a look at the new John Carpenter's Halloween 35th Anniversary Edition. You would be absolutely correct, this should have really been a spooky spot, but this was just released, Spot picked it up yesterday, at least yesterday from the day that I'm shooting this video. And I thought to myself, you know what, the fact that it's just come out, why don't I talk about it now as a send-up, as a leading up to Spooky Spots starting in October. Yes, Spooky Spots are still heading to us in October, check out the extra spot if you want to be following along with that. But anyways, Spot found this at Walmart. This was the only copy. This one that you see right here was the only copy they had. I walked down the aisle with all the new movies. Nothing was there. I just happened to go down the Blu-ray section, and one was literally sitting like this. I pulled it out. I'm like, oh, that's the new Halloween. Got it home. Now, Spots already looked at it and had to look through it. And I got to say I'm a little disappointed as a whole about the... Uh, the, not so much the presentation, but what we got included. Now, before we discuss what, what was included, let's have a look at the actual case. I don't know. The, the, the inclusion of this kind of gold, coppery color of Halloween 35th anniversary, I don't know works really with this case. The case is not black. It's kind of a dark gray on the side as the side profile of Michael Myers. Up at the top, of course, it says Blu-ray disc down below Halloween. But I don't know, it, from a distance, it's an interesting enough cover, but I feel like it could have just been more. Like, I, I feel like, I feel like it's one of those collection sets, you know, that you buy a set and they just kind of put a whole bunch of things together. Um, by comparison, now this is, this one here is Anchor Bay that released this. By comparison, though, I'm going to bring in the, the Shout, and, um, I don't know, the, I, I, I just find... Um, I just find uh, that this particular setup of DVD just looks cooler. You can also see that the 35th anniversary edition uh, is a lot taller uh, than the Halloween 2. It really didn't need to be. It could have easily been a little shorter. Um, to put it on a shelf, you've got Halloween, Halloween 3 right there, Halloween 2, Halloween 3. Um, you can see that one, yeah, it stands out from the other. I said shout, by the way, it's a scream. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, I know, I just... Oh, it is actually shout. It's fine. Anyways, anyways. So you have your two shouts. Halloween 2, Halloween 3. I like the look of those. I don't know, I just feel like the 35th anniversary edition is just... Uh, it, it's just all right. It's just all right. The other thing that really bothered me about the, the case, if you can really call it a case, is it's, it's kind of just like a book. And I'll get into that in a second. But it, it's not the most sturdiest of covers. I mean, this spine, the fact it's also taller, too, I worry that the spine is going to get a little warped. Uh, what they really should have done, I'm just reaching off camera here, is I've got the uh, Universal Legacy Series uh, Dracula, where it's actually a, a sturdy case. Now, the DVDs are inside, and there's no section for uh, added information in there. But I like that it's a nice, durable case. And I don't feel like with the Halloween edition, it really has that. On the back side, it's got, yes, the same thing that you come to expect with some deluxe sets. Is that they have the insert, the stuff that you would want to have on it, as a removable piece. Why could they not have had this actually printed on the back of this. I would not be bothered by the fact that it has this on it and on the back it would have, you know, it would have this information. Because, you know, a lot of people sure try to keep this on because I like to see on the back what's all on here. But, like, it's not, it's just, you know, it's just a, a sheet of laminated paper and it, you know, it, it creases, it frays, it doesn't really stay on there. So, I mean, that disappoints me, the fact that this could not have simply just print printing, been printed on the back of the case. Uh, it says, celebrate 35 years of terror with the ultimate Blu-ray edition. 
Halloween says Entertainment Weekly. It is, was, and sh ever shall be the alpha and omega of Boogie Man flicks. And to commemorate this 35 years as one of the greatest horror films of all time, Anchor Bay presents John Carpenter's 1978 masterpiece in its ultimate fan edition. This 35th anniversary Blu-ray features newly remastered HD transfer supervised by uh, cinema cinematographer, thank you, Dean Cund Cundley, Cudley, in all new Dolby True HD 7.1 audio and revealing new audio commentary, reuniting director John Carpenter and his star, Jamie Lee Curtis. A brand new hour-long uh, Curtis featurette and much more. The immortal original is back and now more terrifying than ever. This is the night Michael Myers comes home like you've never seen or heard it before. Special features, aside from the commentary, you also get the new documentary, The Night She Came Home, which is essentially um, Jamie Lee Curtis going to one of the very few uh, conventions, Halloween conventions, and it follows her. It's it's an hour long. It's uh, Spot watched all of it, and it, it's really it was really interesting to see how much she cared about the fans, and how she was willing to sit down and uh, sign autographs and talk with the fans and find out their passion for Halloween. I would have loved to have been there. And again, with Jamie Lee Curtis, even as she mentions in the featurette, she never does conventions. Um, so having that is a nice addition. It says on location, twenty five years later, featurette. Of course, the TV version footage, trailer, TV, and radio spots. You're looking at 91 minutes. Um, and you can also go to www.halloweenmovies.com, also Anchor Bay Entertainment, or ENT.com. Anyways, so you've got your the case. Now, the case, as Spot indicated, kind of looks like a book. There's a reason for it. Just move the movies out of the way. The inside of the case has the poster, the original Night He Came Home poster. And then it has a small, just very, very small read-up on Halloween, talking about um, things that you might not have known. Just, like, just, uh, it's not, it's not in-depth. Like, you're not going to be getting a full book here, but it was a very, in it's just a little interesting read-up. Uh, initially uh, conceived as the Babysitter Murders until executive producer Erwin Yablans had the idea to set it on the night Halloween was made, quicker in the spring of 1978, and with only a budget of 300000 So it talks about little interesting aspects to it. Michael Myers, or not Michael Myers, well, there's uh, Laurie Stroh, Jamie Lee Curtis with her cut, uh, Donald Pleasance with his, uh, with Win, which comes back in Halloween 6, but um, some cast photos. Jamie Lee Curtis, a little happier than what she actually was in the closet there. John Carpenter at the top there. I like also the, the, a quote taken from John Carpenter. To make Michael Myers frightening, I had him walk like a man, not a monster. Some other behind-the-scenes photos. Donald Pleasance. Miss him so much. Halloweens just aren't the same without him. Um, of course, some behind the scenes, some more behind the scenes, some more read interesting read ups. I'm not going to read all of this because obviously, if you wanted to buy this, I don't want to give away everything for you. On the back, Bob. What's the matter, Bob? Someone's got your ghost. And then when you get to the back, is when you've got the actual DVD or Blu ray. The Blu ray sits in the top, just slide it out. It comes out fairly easy. Featured on the front is the same image as that of the cover, which I like. This image would have been nice on just the, the DVD. I don't know having it on the front cover if it works as well. And just sliding that in. So Spots had a chance and he's watched through the not only the movie, but also the other features and uh, bonuses on the disc. So my overall thoughts of, of the set the movie itself plays incredibly by comparison to the other releases of Halloween on, on DVD on Blu-ray. The transfer on the Blu-ray version is, is spectacular. It, there still has a bit of an age to it. It's not something that... I've seen some older movies transition to a newer Blu-ray conversion. 
and the quality looks like it was something that was just shot. By comparison, like uh, Labyrinth, I have the Labyrinth on Blu-ray, and Labyrinth looks like it was almost shot now using, you know, older looking props. Halloween looks like it was shot back then, but the quality of the picture is amazing on it. Um, you can see, I was worried that with transferring it to an H, uh, to a an high definition Blu-ray format, I was worried that the picture quality was going to look in some spots grainy. There are some scenes that look slightly grainy, but then they adjust themselves, and then it, for the most part, it's a very clear, clear image. And you can kind of pick out stuff in it that you wouldn't see before being that it is in that HD format. The one thing that really disappoints me about it is the fact that they're promoting this as the ultimate edition. And I don't feel at any point that this is the ultimate edition. Aside from the fact that it's got, you know, the, the higher def, the Blu-ray version of the movie, which obviously is the selling point of it, the features as a whole are very disappointing. Um, case in point, the the night she came home is a nice featurette. I like the fact that they incorporate that, which is an hour. It's in an hour's length. I mean, that's it's a good featurette following Jamie Lee Curtis. On location, twenty five years later, we've kind of gotten stuff like that before. TV vo version footage, trailer, and TV uh, TV and radio spots. I don't know. I just kind of feel like it's not it's not for me the ultimate edition. Uh, one thing too is that it's got the TV version footage. It doesn't have the, the version that they made for TV version, which uh, I've got right here on DVD. The extended edition featuring 12 minutes of extra footage shot for television. Um, instead of incorporating this into this, where you could have had both versions on here, why could they, if this was going to be the definitive ultimate version of Halloween, why could we not have gotten the original version, the original Halloween, this is the 25th edition Halloween, why could we not have gotten that remastered in Blu-ray, and why could we not have gotten the additional made-for-TV footage? I don't understand, because I would have liked to have owned this, so I didn't necessarily need to own this. But as it stands, because they don't incorporate a full movie with the, the additional TV footage into this, I'm still having to keep both, both, uh, both pieces. I'm also, as well, having a look at the the 25th uh, anniversary edition. On the back, it's got a lot more going for it. It's got, uh, well, it's got uh, Halloween, a cut above the rest, an all new 87 minute documentary featuring interviews with, of course, John Carpenter, the actors, actresses. Uh, on location 25 years later, which is already on here, but they leave out the cut above the rest. Um, the theatrical trailers are the same. It leaves out the poster and still gallery, which I'm never bothered by. Well, I don't know why they ever put that in there. But why they left the 87-minute footage or the 87-minute featurette off this, and again, selling this as the ultimate edition, I kind of feel robbed. I kind of feel like I... I I couldn't. I feel like I could have gotten something more for it than just simply a book, which I like. I like the idea of it, but when we get to a disc that only is one disc, and it doesn't have it doesn't have the other things that really should be on here. This should have been on here, and certainly the 87 minute cut above the rest should have been on there as well, and it's not. Um, the other thing that isn't on there, for obvious reasons, is perhaps the Halloween uh, 25 uh, Years of Terror revealing look at the classic horror movies. I would have liked to see it on there, but I can understand... Um, I mean, it's still Anchor Bay, but I can understand that because this incorporates all the Halloweens, that they won't really include that, whereas this is specifically Halloween. But still, it should have had the other stuff on it. And I don't know if perhaps it just... I can't even say, like, it's Anchor Bay as well that at released the 25 years. So why couldn't for the 35-year Blu-ray not include that same info, that same uh, featurette? And certainly the, the made-for-TV cut as well. For me, an end-all, be-all, ultimate version of Halloween should have had both featurettes. It should have had the, made, the TV uh, footage version with the extra 12 minutes. 
and it should have had the cut above the rest 87 minute documentary on top of the you know the night she came home then this would have been for me the definitive edition the movie is fantastic the quality and the the, the resolution of the movie is fantastic and, and worth picking it up because i mean this set is this DVD, I think, was about twenty-five dollars, so it's not a—it's not an expensive edition of a, of a release, but I feel like it could have been more. It could have been a lot more. Would I recommend it for a Blu-ray version to go along with the Shout versions of of three, you know, of two? Then I would say yes. I wish it could have been as the same height, so it doesn't just stand out on your shelf. But more importantly, I wish it could have come with more than what it did. It's a great movie that really only could have been accented by all the other bells and whistles that we got with the other releases. So the other releases you kind of have to keep and keep this as the Blu-ray version of it as well. So I would say it's worth picking up for the movie, not for the features. Today's DVD spot, we're having a look at the John Carpenter's Halloween 35th Anniversary Edition. Really great movie and done exceptionally well with transitioning it to Blu-ray format Disappointing, though, that we got shafted on all the special features. If you guys have had a chance to pick this up, let me know down below. Certainly stick to, stay tuned, guys. Spot's got more videos heading your way. I'll see you guys next time.